you want to learn how to put together a wonderful scrolling photo slideshow like the one you're watching right now, then stay with me. I'll show you how. If you're new here, smash the subscribe button and leave a comment below saying I subscribed and I will reply to your comment. So let's get started. So in order to pull off an effect like this, we need images. And I have my on the screen. If you don't, you can import yours. So the next thing we need to do is to click on splits. Now let's look for split that have three layers and drag it down to the timeline. Now double click on it and go to your pictures. Drag them one after the other and drop them in the boxes. So when you're done, we need to resize it. We need to adjust it to get rid of the black space by the side. So you can drag and you can expand and contract using the control button there. Click on the object and drag to fill the screen. And if you're done, we need to snap it. Take a snapshot. Click on it and take a snapshot. Now here is our snapshot. So let's double click on it and delete the previous images. Click on them and click that trash uh, box there. Now let's drag in other images. Just drag and drop onto the boxes one after the other. Now go through it and make some adjustment. Make sure there is no blank space by the side. So you can drag and adjust. When you're done, the next thing we need to take a snapshot. Click on that, on, on it and take a snapshot. Here's our snapshot. Now let's double click on it and delete it again. So do the same thing to all your images. All you need to do is to delete the previous one and drag and drop your new images onto the boxes, arrange them one after the other, click on the image and arrange them. When you're done, you click on the on that camera icon and take a snapshot just like that. So do the same to all your images. Just follow the process and do the same thing to all your images. All right, when you're done, now we need to delete this because we don't need it. Click on it and delete the splits. Now let's come back. Well, let's import all our snapshot. Import them one after the other. Or you can highlight them and import them at the same time. So drag them one after the other to the timeline. So when we're done, just scroll through it and see how it is. I think they're cool. Go to sample and drag them white and drop it just beneath it and just go through it and see how it is it is cool so double click on it and let's go add some motion click on motion and click click the object and double click on the motion and it will apply automatically do the same to all your images All right, when we're done, let's pre-render it. So the next thing we need to add is transition. So go to transition and drag down this particular one and drop it between your images, one after the other. When you're done with that, double click on it and let's increase it to three instead of two and click apply to all. Now let's see what we got. You can pre-render it when you're done. Now we need to 
go back to effects and look for this particular one and drop it on it. And you can expand it. Expand it on all the other images. Now let's take a look at it. It's looking nice, isn't it? I think it's cool. All right, the next thing we need to add is background music. Now go to music and drag one and drop just under. Make sure the length is the same. Now you can test it and see if it's too loud, you can reduce it. And when you're satisfied with it, just test it and see, just go through it. You can hear mine because I muted, but when I'm done, I'm going to play the finished product for you and you will see how it sounds. Now I think we're cool with what we have. So the next thing you need to do is to produce it and voila, here is the final result. How is it? Isn't it interesting? Nice job. I want to thank you for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, Click the subscribe button and share it with your friends and like it. watch the these videos on the screen right now that we hand picked for you so i'm very sure you're gonna love thanks and we'll see you in the next video